Dear princess, why don't you play with your toys? They are old, and I have played with them all. I need something new. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I will give you the most expensive toy of them all, but promise you won't break it or lose it. Yes, Daddy! I promise! Here, take it. to get the ball back. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. I think the frog wants to say something. <clears throat> Dear princess, I could get the ball for you, but you must promise to give me whatever I ask for. Yes, yes! I would do anything for my golden ball! Please get my ball back! Princess. There, there, little frog. Hey, little frog, how can you understand and speak our language? And what did you want the princess to do for you? <laughs> I used to be a prince. But a witch casted a spell on me and turned me into a frog. Mm -hmm. Only if a princess takes care of me for three days, I will turn into a prince again. Uh -huh. I've been waiting for that day for so long now. Oh, dear frog, you must tell the princess about this. <sighs> she will never believe me, but I think I know what to do. I will have to go to the castle.
What do you want, little frog? I am here to meet the princess. Please, let me in. Okay. What a lovely supper. Could I please join? How dare you interrupt our supper? Dear King, I helped the princess, and the princess had promised me that she would do anything for me. Darling, what is this frog talking about? But then she walked away, so I have to come here myself. Darling, you should never break promises. Yes, Daddy. Thank you, dear princess. You freed me from the spell. I don't understand! Remember the frog who came and stayed here for three days? That was me. Huh? A witch had put a spell on me, and it would only break if a princess took care of me. And you did. I am so grateful to you. Charming! I mean, Prince! <laughs> Thank you, my dear King, for everything. Could I request you to give me your daughter's hand in marriage? I shall take her to my castle and make her the Queen. Young Prince, you have my permission. Dear Princess, would you like to be my Queen?
this beautiful morning. Hey, Sugar. We are just going for a walk. Have fun, you guys! <laughs> guys! Guys! Have you seen the bear family? I just saw someone entering their house! That's impossible! We just saw the bear family go on a long walk! I'm serious! I was watering the plants and I saw a girl with golden hair enter the house! Guys, I think we should go and check. What if it's a burglar? Okay. Let's go. You guys check on the girl. I will go find the bear family. Here to steal the honey? I don't think so. Let's go inside and confirm. The door is locked. Sugar, can you take us inside the house to see what the girl wants? Okay. Guys, hold hands. Visible and visible. I think she is hungry. Yeah. Too hot. Too cold. Baby bear eat now. <sighs> I am so tired. I should rest a little. Mm, this chair is too big.
She also ate up Baby Bear's porch. Are you doing here? Uh, my, my, my name is Goldilocks. I, I was washed in the forest, hungry and tired. I, I saw the house open and came in. I am sorry. Oh, it's all right, dear. Kids, would you like to help Goldilocks reach back home? Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Bear. Bear. But you have to promise not to enter someone's house like that without permission. I promise. Guys, that's where my house is. Yay! We found your house! Yes, thank you very much, friends. You all should come home sometime. We can play games and have lots of fun. Yes, we will. But right now, we should be going back home. All right, friends. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. for her grandmother again. Today, I will eat her for sure. I will go to her grandmother's house and pretend to be her. Then, I will wait for Little Red Riding Hood to come. What she does, I will eat her. No, that's terrible. We should go warn her. Great idea, Joe. Let's go, guys. Yes, let's go. We are not too late. It's been a few minutes since I saw her go to the stone path. Don't worry. She normally buys fresh bread from the baker before going to her grandma's. We'll check there first. Hello, 
sir. Hello, young man. Sir, did a little girl come here to buy bread? Oh, do you mean Little Red Riding Hood? Yes. Have you seen her today? Yes. She came in a little while ago. She was very happy today. She said she will pick some flowers from the garden on the way to her grandma's. Thank you, sir. I think we should head straight to the house. Yes, let's go there and wait for her to come. Grandma's house. It's the wolf. What's he doing in there? Let's hurry. We are still very far. Oh no! That's Little Red Riding Hood. She's also going into the house. We're late. Let's get there and see. before you came in. Help! Help! Are you okay, little girl? Yes, thank you. Where did you come from? I was nearby cutting the trees. I heard you scream, so I rushed here. Come, I will take you home. So the wolf ate her grandma and dressed like her to fool Little Red Riding Hood. Yes, she was lucky that the woodcutter was here. Let's Go home, guys. The wolf really scared me. I agree. Let's just go. Hello, kids. Join the adventure of Sugar and Friends. 